So I am greatly saddened uh, by the passing away of film director Nobuhiko Obayashi. Um, I had the privilege to know him and have some conversation with him over some occasions. Um, and um, he impressed me, as, of course, as a great artist, but at the same time, he was a great human. Uh, he was filled with love and warmth and kindness. And although I am sure he would have been really severe and demanding in his filmmaking, he always came out as somebody who already had um, good wishes to those who are around, us, around him. And that was the impression that I uh, received from him. Um, I had the privilege of appearing in his short uh, promotional film for the idol group AKV, um, shot in Nagaoka city, Niigata prefecture. And, um, you know, I was, you can imagine how nervous I was when, you know, I played a really small role and uh, the great director Obayashi was there, and uh, but fortunately it was you know just one take, and you know he said okay, maybe he said that in out of kindness, but you know um, I don't know um, I haven't had a chance to see the promotional film again uh, for some time, um, and, um, but um, you know it it is one of my really. Um, cherished memories uh, in my life so far that I appeared in this small film by the great director Nobuhiko Obayashi. Uh, his works, uh, of course, are really uh, loved by the film, film lovers in all over the world. Uh, his style came out as something poetic. Uh, it, I think, dealt with the stream of consciousness and not so much about a uh, prosaic uh, story around, but more about uh, how our unconscious emotions and conscious phenomenal experiences play out in the um, fascinating story that he put into his films. And it was always fresh imaginative and very moving to watch his works. And in his later years, he really experimented with the latest technologies like computer graphics and augmented reality even, in which he tried to create a fantasy world of enchantment and revealed human nature, uh, which I think proved what a great film director he was. Um, he always loved peace and he was always against atrocities and cruelties that manifest itself in extreme forms in war. He was always against war, but he also understood the good sides of human nature and was really eager to express the better angels of our nature in his films. So I think uh, in the end, he was a director of love and peace and affection and goodwill and kindness and, you know, a smile on your face. And that was always his agenda, even though as at times he did express his opposition towards this uh, stupidity of humans. So I really cherish my memories uh, when I had conversations with the great director. He was always um, forthcoming with uh, his views on filmmaking, which I really remember to this day. Although, um, you know, I'm just a film lover, I, I could appreciate uh, what 
tremendous efforts he put into his filmmaking. I think he was a perfectionist and also a you know, avid experimenter. And he was always trying to make something new with every neck every you know work so how did he lift on uh, i i'm sure he would have tried something new in the you know films that who he would have made so it's really sad to you know accept that fact that he had to pass away at this time uh so i really uh would like to express my deepest uh, appreci appreciation and uh, gratefulness to all his great works and uh, his great personality. So, uh, Mr. Nobuhiko Obayashi, please rest in peace and I would remember your great personality uh, for many, many years and uh, I would, of course, uh, see your work um, again and again to be inspired and to uh, receive an energy to live on in this uh, complex and difficult arena that we call life. So please rest in peace. Uh, Obai Sensei, you have been a really great film director and a really great human being.